Hi guys, I'm Charles Michael Davis. I play Marcel on the originals, and we're here on stage two in Conyers, Georgia. And you guys have been sending in Twitter questions, and so I'd like to take a chance to answer them. Let's start with Kay at Geektastic08. What's your favorite place to shoot scenes? Uh, it's here on the stages. Um, I prefer stage than location, and this is one of my favorite stages. It's the loft, and I'd like to give you a tour. So come on, follow me. Welcome to my loft. This is always titled Marcel's Loft, and it is an exact replica of one of our um, locations. We needed Marcel's Loft in a short amount of time, and we found a location that we really liked in Monroe, Georgia, and we went there and we shot several episodes. Not only were we not gonna just go there for a couple of episodes, we were gonna build it here on stage and bring it all home. And so we were able to recreate it here on the stages. So everything is um, controlled. That is not the city of New Orleans. That is just a backdrop. This is what's called a day-night backing. It is like a giant photograph. They're called day-nights because if you light them from the front of the photograph, it will look like daytime. But if you backlight them from the same image, it looks like night. Another thing you might notice is the carpet. Um, I always thought that Marcel had a lot of parties and maybe spilled a lot of food, um, and he was just too lazy to get it clean, so he just bought new carpet to cover up the spills and messes, but actually it just makes sense for sound. This is Marcel's Island, and if you'll notice in there, all of the furniture stays on the rug. That was the original directive. Usually when I come on set, I'll notice that there's something different every time, something added. When Marcel is not fighting for the city, he's also antiquing. This is where I pulled a necklace for Klaus. Scenes that take place in the loft at nighttime are usually lit by candles. But when does he find the time to light every candle? How are they already lit sometimes when he comes into the loft? Did he leave them lit? Not safe, that's a fire hazard. Don't do that at home, kids. Also, Marcel is an avid reader. In season one, Marcel says that he learned to read by reading Shakespeare. And he also likes to read Jules Verne, Everyday Algebra, the elementary course. We have some encyclopedias. Charles Dickens. Our goal as the set decoration department is to create an environment that the actors believe where they are and the viewers believe where they are. We're supposed to be in New Orleans, so that's what we, we aim to do. I have a question from Twitter from Jessica, at Jessica Bronco. If you could take one prop home, what would it be? I would take this record player home because I actually have a record collection. I got some Al Green, set the mood, little uh, Frank Sinatra. You see where I'm going with this? Candles, record player. Anyway, that's enough of this set. Why don't we take a look at uh, one of the other sets? Come on, follow me. Sort of the concept that we came up with was that vampires, being of such great age, are much enamored of things that do age and do change. And so we've tried to establish that look of all of the layers so that you really feel like you're in something that has a great deal of time behind it. Welcome to the compound. This is actually a replica of a hotel that we shot in from season one. The compound is based on a conglomeration of many of the compounds in New Orleans. They are these hidden gardens or courtyards that exist for a lot of major homes or buildings in the downtown French Quarter section of New Orleans. This is actually much, much larger uh, than the location um, where Marcel says, On the cave! That was actually a hotel that actually had people in it while we were shooting. We were shooting until about four or five in the morning, I remember. Somebody said, uh, for the love of God, people are trying to sleep here. <laughs> so we built this here on the stage. Um, and this is where we had our many battles. We had fight night here, where you'll see I came out to the uh, balcony here. Had some scenes with Rebecca here. This is a fountain that has been filled with blood many, many times. Which takes me to one of our Twitter questions. And this one is from Melissa, at Melissa Crepin. How much blood has been used over the episodes? I'm guessing like trillions of gallons. Not quite trillions, but a lot of blood. The blood is not my favorite part because it gets on, it gets really sticky and it gets in your clothes, it ends up in places. Actually, I have some right here that's probably gonna be on for the next few weeks, a little here. But if you go back and you watch throughout the seasons, there's many scenes where characters are covered in blood and we shoot that over and over again and we have to reapply the blood a lot. Um, you'll remember Elijah coughs up blood in season one. 
And I think you can probably still see the blood stains from how much blood um, we had to use on him. Over here is the uh, entrance, the corridor. This is where Klaus stages his comeback uh, in season one. This was Marcel's compound, and then Klaus took it back over, and so the Michelson M on the crest can stand for Michelson or Marcel. Depends on who's the uh, current resident. What else we got? Oh, we have another bar. Everybody has a bar. There's a bar in every set. There's either a bar or a bar cart or a bar and a bar cart. We're always trying to mix it up and make the uh, courtyard look fresh and come at it from a different angle. So we'll do many roving shots with the camera. This was the compound. Let's go check out the next set. When you're dealing with vampires, you're also dealing with people who've been around so long that they have a lot, a lot of money. And so when they want a fountain, a fountain will appear. It's all part of us trying to make this a very real situation for both the talent and, and for the viewers as well. Welcome to Rousseau's. This is a replica of a bar in New Orleans. We recreated it here for the stages. I believe originally this actual bar was on Vampire Diaries set when we shot the pilot, and then we brought it over here. A fun thing for you guys to do is maybe take a trip to New Orleans to see if you can find the bar that we actually copy this after. Uh, here you can see an assortment of spirits, as they call them. Uh, one of my favorite scenes we shot with um, Sebastian Roche, who plays Michael. The one they call the Destroyer. He also had a great scene here where he murdered many, many people. What an interesting turn of events. Rousseau's has been sort of one of the true mainstays of, of the show for many, many episodes. That's where we first saw Cammy. I just moved here myself. And that's where she continually, you know, comes back to. This one is also from Melissa at Melissa Greppen. Where does my favorite cast love to hang out? I assume that we are your favorite cast. And we like to hang out in Inman Park in Atlanta. There's a bar there where the cast likes to go and socialize. And sometimes when Julie's in town, we shut it down. So it's just us. Well, I think that wraps up our tour. Thank you for joining me on set. I hope I was able to enlighten you with some of the uh, answers. And thank you for the Twitter questions. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.